Hey, I'm Mike Beckerell, and today we're going to take a look at a phrasing technique that guys like Jimmy Herring and Alan Holdreth both make use of. Let's take a look. The basis of this line is the idea of moving around the guitar using intervals of fourths. Besides the second and third string, the guitar is tuned in fourths, so fourths are just, you know, the same fret on the next adjacent string. However, for this idea, we want to do fourths on the same string, which is a bit of a stretch. So in this case, we're jumping from the 12th fret on the E string to the 17th fret. So we're so bigger than average stretch than what we would normally do. And then pulling off gives us a nice, really wide open sound. Now all the notes of this line are going to come out of the E minor pentatonic scale, so there's nothing special going on note-wise. Now this next part of the line is something I saw Jimmy Herring do years ago when he was on tour with Lenny White. So we're pulling off using a fourth, and then for the next note we're going to actually hammer on, without picking again, the same note on the next string, which will be the same distance away as our first note. So we're going from the 17th fret to the 12th fret, so it's A going to E. And the next string we've got to find E, which is also at the 17th fret on the, on the B string. And so we're going to hammer on to that. And then after that, we're going to pull off another fourth. So that gives us this really cool wide open sound because we have this fourth and then we're hammering on to a unison, which I think is a really cool sound too. Then for the next part of the line, we're just moving down the scale. So after we do the pull off on the second string from E to B, we're gonna take our pinky again and hammer on to the D and pull off to A, which is a fourth away. And then the next string, we're gonna find another A. In this case, it's on the 14th fret of the, of the third string. And we're gonna hammer on again like that. At first, the stretching might be a little tough, so start up somewhere in like E. So, because the A, that's a pretty big stretch, going from 10th ten, fret to the 5th fret. That's more of a Holdsworth style stretch. But if you start up here in E, and then gradually work your way down, those stretches will gradually get easier and easier for your hands to grab. And there's all sorts of cool phrasing things you can do with this idea. So for example, one thing I like to do is bend up from D to E with my third finger, and then I'll grab the E with my pinky and then pull off down to the B. When people tend to think of Alan Holtz playing, they tend to think of really only the really fast stuff he does. But a huge chunk of his phrasing is this really wide interval descending, ascending stuff with a lot of vibrato. And so to really get, I think, his phrasing, I think this is a big part you can't skip. And guys like Jimmy Herring do it too. So hope you enjoyed this concept. It's a really easy concept. It just takes a little practice to get used to. And all the pull-offs and hammer-on stuff will sound better if you have a little bit of gain on your guitar too. Doing it with clean is a little tougher. So hope you take this idea and run with it. You can apply this to any scale, like pentatonic, anything like that, and really make it work for you. So thanks for checking out the lesson. Keep practicing. I'll see you next time.